Alrighty, go ahead whenever you're ready. This is the Disney wind happening. Not only are we riding the Mark Twain at night, we're going up there. Are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna, are you gonna be all right, Liz? Bring up the steps. You can like take a nap. <laughs> oh my. This is always a little perilous. So. Oh my god. Oh crap. Oh my god, I can cry. Oh my god. Sounds like someone's very excited. Somebody has never done this before. I haven't either, but she's generally excitable, so. Okay, look at this. We're that's the Mark oh, Twain steering right. wheel right there. No, I'm Do you want to take turns, you guys driving? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. All righty. And ringing the bell. Under wage shortly. Sure. I want to see the view out here. Look at that. There's the bell. Oh my God. We're gonna ring that. This thing right here. Okay. There's a count to it. You have to know the cadence. What's this? That's Got the it. sign book. Oh, you guys are more than welcome to sign the guest book. You can leave a little message oh, if you'd Ian. like. Yeah. Looks like Ian. Ian, were you already in here? Yes, two seconds ago. Wow. <laughs> oh. Do you want to do fresh baked? You're going to peek outside the captain's quarters or the uh, pilot's room or whatever you want to call this. What level are we on, anyway? I mean, this is essentially a fourth level, essentially. Yeah, but... I know, you cannot do Star Wars updates from here. <laughs> I should ask about it. <laughs> wow. It's too bad we can't see, right? I'd be, I would stop steering and do a Star Wars I know update. That's <laughs> why I'm glad it's nighttime, but you can't. <laughs> oh, he's telling us. Who's going to... Liz, get ready. <gasps> Castle! What? What? By the way, here we sign the book. There's Ian, Liz, and myself. Oh. oh you should date it, yeah. Oh, you did date it. Thank you. My name is Brandon. I'll be your captain for today. Um, as we head past Fowler's Harbor, one of the lucky ones, you guys can choose amongst yourself, will be able to blow the whistle. Just a few friendly reminders so no one gets hurt on this trip. Just make sure we're not hanging outside the window. We don't touch with anything around. I trust you guys. Um, and if you guys want any history about the boat or anything like that, feel free to ask me to share. And there's a few things as we go along the way that I will. Definitely ready to hear anything you got to share, Brad. Okay. <laughs> well, the uh, Mark Twain was built uh, in San Pedro, California, uh, at what was called Todd Shipyards. It was the hole was built there, um, from what I believe, and then it was the rest of it was assembled here at Disneyland. Um, the first trip was July 13th, 1955, for Walt and Lillian Disney. Disney's 30th uh, wedding anniversary. They had a show here at the um, Golden Horseshoe, and then they came and um, took a, a ride on the boat. Um, and then it was christened July 14th, 1955, and then it opened um, July 7th, 1955. So, uh, ever since then, it's been taking round trips daily. Nice. So, yeah, it is definitely one of those things that has lived with this family. It, like before it was even open too, like that's really, yeah. really cool. Yeah, before it opened even. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. So, um, talking about the mechanics of the boat, it is a genuine steam engine. Oh, that's so cool. um, the boiler is heated using biodiesel, and then from there the steam works its way through the system, and that's what propels us through the water. Cool. Um, that's so cool. That's mostly about the boat. Kind of, we head through the um, 
around the river. We can go ahead and use the spotlight and I'll point some things out to you guys. Cool. Whoa, spotlight! Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can uh, can Liz steer? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> You can't really tell, guys, but oh, that's, that's New Orleans Square I'm down there. So oh, look, there's the club. If someone would like to blow the whistle, I'll tell you Oof. when, but we're going to hold it down for five seconds, we're going to let go, and then we're going to pull it down for another three seconds. So Go for it, Ian. I'll, 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 I'll tell you when. I'll keep staring. Almost there. Five seconds and three. I think Ian's got this. All righty, go ahead, whenever you're ready. Columbia was also built in Todd, Todd Shipyards in um, San Pedro, California. It was then moved here. Um, the, it is, I think, if I remember correctly, 118 feet long, wow. around there, plus or minus a few feet. Um, it is built to replica minus a few things. Um, there aren't as many cannons on board because if there were, we wouldn't have space for guests. Wow. And uh, the masts are not to the same size. They were kind of fitted for Disney. Yeah. Um, but besides that, everything is um, set up how it would have been um, when the actual sailing ship Columbia circumnavigated the world um, way, way back then. Right on. It actually took three years for the actual ship. So the whole itself is the same scale? Yeah. You alright, babe? Yeah. <laughs> I just like I'm in the way. Oh, we're good. Oh, this is a good spot. Right here. at night though. Oh hi! Yeah. Woo. This is the dark part, huh? Yes. This is where we get to use my favorite part. Ooh, I get this is a thing we never get to do, yeah. Spotlight time. So as we make our way around. There it is. Look at that. There's our Indian chief up there. He's going to give us the call. Spotlight is actually very fun to do. If you look right, oh, let's see. Oh, right down here, yeah. this is the Dolomber. Yeah. It is one of our um, keel boats, which used to be an attraction here at Disneyland. I don't remember the dates that they closed, so, uh, but that once, as always, I feel like when Disney uh, gets rid of something, they always do something. It's hard to believe that that was an actual attraction. <laughs> Are you the one that cues the music? Yeah. Yeah, but for some reason it like went out on us and started working again. So. Uh, <laughs> Music right there is my cue when I start I start filming Star Wars <laughs> updates. I know if I hear that, I gotta turn the camera on and start looking at <laughs> at the update. This is gonna take us aground. Got it. Smell ice, can ya? Seriously, I, I need like a smooth block. <laughs> ice boat, right ahead. <laughs> get out of my head, I was just thinking Titanic. I was just Well, that's what I Titanic. did the first line I did. You didn't get it, but... Oh, what'd you, what'd you say to me? Smell ice, can ya? Because the guy said he could uh, smell ice. And then they ran into a big... You don't... Sorry. I should more ice boat! Why are you looking at me? <gasps> Look at the cat, you can see the castle. Wheelhouse. Wheelhouse. 
That's what I keep thinking. Like, what's the term for this room? I keep wanting to call it the pilot something. Huh? Take us home. Okay. Second lamppost to the right, and then straight on until the morning. morning. Also, you can't really tell, but that's Tom Sawyer's Island down there. That's the bridge coming up. Off the starboard side is Pirate's Lake. There we go. Tom now we're Sawyer Island. Island. There you go. <laughs> Young Tom always said he wanted to be a pirate, and I think I see why. <laughs> you, pirate, you don't need to get up early in the morning and go to school, and you never have to wash your face and hands. All you have to do mm. is just look for treasure all day long. At least that's what Tom Sawyer thought. Wow. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Catches fire, they, that's yeah, supposed to be that filled. Was the, that's what the hurricane deck is. So those are water buckets. Yeah, water buckets. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> that was Splash Mountain, I yeah, think. Yeah, no, that, that, was, that was a good Splash Mountain screen. Wow, it were on the other side of the river. Yeah. <laughs> and he held that note, too. He sure hey, did. Hey, Benny, looks like you're on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> I think we got all the horses though. <laughs> there you go guys, that's their, our final view of Rivers of America from the wheelhouse of the Mark Twain. What a great way to end the night. Thank you very much. I never came up here until I started getting trained. Really? Did you did you geek out a little? I thought it was super cool because yeah. it's like so high up above everything. so yeah. high, exactly. So the only perspective you know that I knew was down there. Right. right. But now that I was up here, it was totally different. I mean, Even just from the third floor, it's different. The Texas deck. So what deck is this? Is it the deck? This is the wheelhouse. Oh, and then we have the sun deck, or the Texas deck, the promenade, which is in the middle, and then the main deck on the Main deck. Texas deck. Cool. Never heard that term before. Wheelhouse. You're a skittish little thing. If you guys would like, you guys have completed a full trip around. We get a pilot certificate. You guys are more than welcome to fill out any name you want. Your guys' name. Go for it, Liz. Or a family name, up to you. Show me, let me see that certificate. Look at that. There's our pilot certificate for the SS Mark Twain. David, Ian, and Liz, fresh baked. Rivers of America in Frontierland. The Harbor Master is Joe Fallon. Right, if you guys want to go ahead and find this. Well, that just happened. Woo! I'm so happy. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? As I, I, I love to point these situations out whenever I have a chance to re emphasize, to solidify in everybody's mind. When you see a chance or when you feel like something happening at Disneyland, don't like let's just pretend we had a fast pass for Space Mountain Ian. Right? Like we saw we saw the Mark Twain with the lights and we're like maybe we should take a chance and ride it instead of going home and we did and guess what we got to do? How do we, we ride the that. Twain at night? Yeah. Also because, yeah. also because we had a friendly play interaction with yeah. the cast member. Yeah. Yeah. He then let offered to let right. us into the wheelhouse. That was that was built on the Disney winds and and good vibes. Ah, so amazing. Just let the wind guide you, you guys. You won't you won't regret it. I know you feel the need to get a lot of stuff done when you're here because you have a little bit of time, and I get it. I totally do. But take my advice. Whenever possible, if you can. If you feel that moment 
where you just like, you know what, we need to do this thing, do that thing. How about you please remember your own advice when you're in Paris? I know, well, you know, but that's the other thing is that I've always wanted to be the noob in the park. I know. <laughs> I'm looking forward you're to that. You're going to have to battle those two instincts. Uh, yeah. The excitement of being the new person who wants right. everything you've never done before. I want to pull the map out and like wonder where things are. Well, yeah. We have two days though. We can do one day of being mania and another day appreciating. Is Disneyland Paris a two day park? All right, let me get into I think the so. I think it can that's be. That's what people are saying. I think it certainly can be. All right. I want to see as many rides as possible. Are we gonna be able to get down Main Street? Uh, uh, they're getting ready for the parade, so. <laughs> or are we going down the side alley here? better at night, obviously, so. Golly jeez. I can't believe we're leaving this. <laughs> we're leaving this, you guys, but we gotta go home. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, Fresh Bake. I, I hope you enjoyed our show this week, because this is one of, in, one of my more memorable uh, visits in recent memory, this trip. I used to keep track of having the best day ever, like setting the record for the most fun we've ever had. And I think that we've set a new record for this season. That's the most fun we've had at least this season. I agree. Uh, I what a, last Saturday was really fun too. Right, but I mean, this was even more fun. Have a Merry Christmas. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, what a great day. Our, that's right. We're going this way, huh? I always feel like when we're leaving at night, we got to go the other way. But uh, thanks for hanging out with us, Fresh Baked. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, as always, we love you very much, and uh, we appreciate you guys hanging out with us through the through all these visits uh, over the years, and it means a lot to us. And this time of year, it's it's even more special, I think, because I really feel extra extra warm and fuzzy. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, cards are in the mail, fresh baked cards are in the mail. If you got one, uh, you probably but you actually may have it by now. Uh, so hope you hope you got one. And if not, next year, I wish we could send more, but it's just not the easiest thing. It's a lot of work. Last <laughs> we'll get the Ninja Boy, we, yeah. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel here and uh, like the video and turn on notifications. And then do the same over at Fresh Baked Presents, which is our it's a sister channel where I do news and opinion. We're on Fresh Baked WDW with David Reynolds, who is our host in Walt Disney World, Florida. Um, he's got a co-host, Grace, who's super fun. I love Grace. Yeah, Grace is great. Uh, she's been around for a while now, mm -hmm. as has David. But I mean, both of them were people that tagged along with Laramie and then wound up, you know, taking over the show. So it's pretty great. And then uh, follow us on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney. That's fresh with no e. And we're on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked. And we're on Facebook at Fresh Baked Disney. And we have a website, FreshBakedDisney.com. And uh, we're, we're starting to put content back up there again. I know, I know I keep saying that, but we're trying to fix the site, that's the thing. And it got really broken. And it still does get broken sometimes because it's not the most robust thing, but it's better than it used to be at least. So there's that. So thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. And um, we'll see you next week. Merry Christmas. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. Para su seguridad, favor de permanecer sentados con las puertas cerradas, manteniendo sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro mientras el tranvía está en movimiento. Y vigilen a sus niños. Gracias. Please hold on to hats, glasses, or any loose items that could fall from the tram. Annual pass 
via the official Disneyland app before the end of the day. As you travel through our resort, we'd like to remind you that our guest parking areas have a speed limit of 14 miles per hour. We ask that you please observe this speed limit and yield the right of way to Disneyland vehicles, whether you are walking or driving. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh Daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh Baked!